The second blessing before Shema, which starts Ahavaraba, is all about God's love for us and how that's expressed most of all through God giving us the Torah. And one of the lines that I love most in it is the string of verbs. Uh, put in our hearts to know, to understand, to learn, to teach, to keep, to do all the words of your Torah, which is such a lovely uh, catalog in my mind of all the different ways that we relate to Torah and all the things we're supposed to do in the world. And then the text uh, shifts a tiny bit, and you get the illuminate our eyes with Torah, which I just think is lovely because it harkens back to the first blessing of Horshma about God creating light, and so that light theme continues. Um, the rabbis, especially in the Zohar, refer to Torah as oraita, light, so that connects. And then uh, as the paragraph comes to an end, it talks about returning us to the land of Israel, the Havienu, the Shalom, the Arbaq, and Fadara. It's bringing us back in peace from the four corners of the earth. Um, and I want to get on my personal soapbox here for a moment. A lot of people, some people, like to sing that end part to the tune of Hatikva. I actually prefer not to do that, but it's not because I don't want to bring politics into davening. I actually don't mind politics and davening. For me, it's actually the other way around. I, I sort of think of Hatikva as a sacred text of its own, and I, I prefer to leave the tune for Hatikva special, unique, just for a tikva, and not to bring it into other places. But I also totally understand how thematically it makes sense to say, hey, now that there's a state of Israel, we actually have, have accomplished that return from the four corners of the earth to the land uh, that God promised us. So it makes sense, it's just not my personal preference. And then the paragraph ends, uh, the blessing is, Baruch atah habocher b'amo Yisrael b'ahava, blessed are you God who chooses the people Israel with love. Let's bracket for another conversation the whole idea of chosenness and how we feel about it. But what I think is so interesting there and so beautiful is that blessing ends with God choosing us in love. Then we say Shema, and we immediately go into Ve'ahavta et Adonai Lohecha. You shall love God. And so there's a reciprocality there. God loves us, we listen to God, and we love God back. And that is the second blessing of Strachrit.